as you run in it. It's, it's an horrific attack. That, to, and it's horrific, horrific to think people can go to, to worship God and That's end right. up being butchered like that. It's just a dreadful situation. That's right. And as, as always within a, a not situation not taking like sides. This, it's just dreadful. You know? Well, absolutely. The facts uh, speak for themselves. And indeed, uh, a huge echo of those facts on social media uh, today with hashtags such as Jerusalem under attack uh, or just simply under hashtag Jerusalem. An awful lot of comment on this story. Also in uh, the Israeli media, for example, I suppose finger pointing as well. You're going to get that, aren't you, uh, Mark? This is the economics uh, or the economy minister, Bennett, uh, uh, pointing the finger at uh, Mahmoud Abbas for sort of, I suppose, not doing Netanyahu's an offer. Netanyahu's done the same thing, hasn't he? That's what, right, what Netanyahu seriously? and uh, and indeed uh, Avigdor Lieberman as well. Whereas Shin, the Shin Bet chief says that Abbas does not encourage terrorists. So I suppose in the in the initial mudslinging, uh, political mudslinging mm. that we're seeing uh, um, coming out of this uh, horrible incident, that I suppose sums up some of it at least. Also, of course, a lot of reaction to uh, the announcement by Netanyahu that he wishes to relax gun laws following the synagogue attack, which really, I suppose, if you're going the way of American laxism when it comes to gun laws, I'm not sure if it's a very good sign of where uh, Jerusalem is at the moment. Also, some people... Uh, such as the some publications such as the New York based Jewish Week saying can only a beheading of Okara today. I think there was a certain sense uh, that this wasn't actually getting as much media attention as some in Israel or in the uh, in the Jewish media expected. Although I think uh, if you're watching France 24 today, it's been getting a lot of coverage and in the international it's, media generally. It's been everywhere today. I think that that article's wide of the mark. That's right. I think uh, perhaps a little bit off the mark in that sense. But uh, also, of course, images of uh, the hor the horrendous attack. At least some of the images that are broadcastable um, are making it onto social media as well with uh, that awful image oh, of a terrible, butcher's knife. That is awful. That is and actually, awful. Mark, uh, perhaps even more awful, an echo of, of uh, that butcher's knife in some extremely distasteful uh, cartoons uh, that have been picked up by the Jerusalem Post. Another one here. I suppose some that people... That kind of thing helps nobody, does it? It doesn't help anybody and it's supporting the attack and I suppose a demonstration of the way in which uh, relations between the two sides have reached such a critical point that people will take pleasure in the... In in the pain of Paul's others. The sense of humanity just seems to have taken a nosedive, doesn't it? Completely. Absolutely. And on a similar note, Mark, uh, contextually for the last week or two, really, we've been seeing uh, attempts to understand uh, the divisions uh, in Jerusalem, uh, in East Jerusalem uh, since July, when the uh, latest Gaza war took place. There have been demonstrations by youths across the city, clashes with Israeli police on an almost a nightly basis, some children as young as nine taking to the streets, and there have been over 900 Palestinians arrested in East Jerusalem. Uh, uh, sorry, 900 Palestinians who've been arrested in, 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 in East Jerusalem are minors, Mark. So it's a huge but issue, that's what, that's a divided but city. that's what happens when it's, it's, it's rife and people aren't thinking it through. Kids are getting involved. It's, 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 like, it's kind of like going back to the Middle Ages and it's, it's, in, it's, in Western it's, Europe. It's, it's a real mess. And actually, Laura Friedman and Daniel Seidemann, who wrote this article, say that the Israeli authorities are not answering why these demonstrations are not answering to questions as to why uh, these demonstrations are taking place. And I, uh, their uh, point of view is that the city is quite simply divided. Uh, it's in absolute crisis and it's to be found, uh, this crisis is based on the inherent dysfunctionality of Israeli rule in East Jerusalem in particular. But somewhere along the line, they've got to stop blaming each other and justifying it as retaliation and tit right. for tat and eye for an eye because that way, as the saying goes, everybody ends up blind, don't they? That's right, and find a real solution. Just on that same issue of context, Mark, to show you the degree to which relations have really broken down between uh, the two sides in Jerusalem. I think it's fair to say since the Gaza uh, war yeah. in particular. T let's roll pictures. We have uh, pictures of, of this um, video that was put up online about a week ago. It shows a Palestinian woman and she's being asked to open her bag by uh, Israeli passengers on this bus. Now it seems the only reason that she was suspected of per per perhaps uh, carrying a bomb or some sort of weapon in her bag is quite simply that she was from the other side of this divide and uh, she was uh, completely... Uh, I mean, that's unfair, isn't it? It's, 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 well, it's stigmatising and yep. uh, it shows, I think, the, de the degree to which trust has simply broken down sure. between the sides and you, uh, I think that video uh, demonstrates it quite clearly, Mark. Change of tone now. Yeah. The uh, Euro 2016 competition, football's uh, European festival, of course, being held here in France, um, has... Uh, 
launch its official mascot, is that right? That's right, uh, mascots. You could have got, business you got implications for Delano, this one, <laughs> couldn't it? You know. <laughs> well, it might have. Dribblu is his name, or Dribblu. Dribblu. It might be a, a, it's a play on dribble and blue, isn't that's it? That's what... Oh, I got the dribble bit, but I didn't get the blue bit. That, that's that's <laughs> clarifying it for me. I thought, what's, what's all this ooh, blue a bit, blue bit about... He's got so your hairstyle, James. Well, I suppose he does on a bad day. Uh, <laughs> if the France 24 uh, hairdressers haven't got to me first. <laughs> uh, now, you, you know there's been a lot of con con uh, corruption allegations. About and, hairdressers. No? Well, not, not about our hairdressers. They're doing, they're doing a very fine job. Uh, but you, you know that, uh, of course, match-fixing allegations in the second division of French football today, Mark. There's also been three, the current and the two past uh, managers of Marseille Football Club arrested. So well, people, the president's in, in police custody. Some people saying maybe this mascot could have a name that's more appropriate to that, such as uh, oh, Match Truquet. Uh, match Truquet, that's uh, fixed match. Fixed match, yeah. but I probably... I think that's probably not going to happen. Some people saying a refreshing change from all of the hens and uh, Le Coq, of course, being the symbol of French football that tend to dominate uh, mascots uh, for big international competitions such as uh, the World Cup in 1998. Okay. Uh, so Will the least... cock have something to crow about? Well, this is just <laughs> the line that gets trotted out by That's people right. like me. And, and just in case you're wondering, uh, Dribblou can fly, Mark. He is a flying mascot and he transcends uh, borders and any sort of division okay. like that. And, I believe, international and I believe, and I'm going to tell everybody, that he was based on you. Oh, right. Well, there you go. <laughs> James Creed. I am the James 2016 Creed. He mascot. is our mascot anyway. Good to see you, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Nice to see you back in the seat. Likewise. Thank you, Delano, for the business. Delano de Souza there with all the business. And thank you for watching. Uh, stay with us. More news to come, of course. Live from Paris.